Never Stop Learning, week 249. We're going to take a quick look at Convert to Shape Rectangle in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so this is actually a live effect that's going to convert your objects into basic shapes. And you'll see these shapes listed in the live effect menu. Now, what I wanted to do was show you guys this effect in practice. I figured if I show you my workflow, it'll kind of inspire you on how to use it in a future project for yourself. All right, so I have a custom t-shirt background, so I'm gonna show you how to set up some vinyl lettering. All right, I'm gonna hit the T key on my keyboard, that's gonna activate the type tool. I'm gonna click once in the center of my document, and now I can just type away, uh, let's say like some last names or numbers. All right, so I'm gonna start off with some last names. I'm gonna go with a Lockwood, just so I could have a long last name there. Uh, Command return or control enter, and that's gonna accept my change. Now let's increase the size of this name. There we go, it's nice and big. And I wanna go with a different font. So I'm gonna hit Command T and switch this guy over to Doc. All right, Doc 11 Heavy. Dismiss this panel. All right, now I've got the first last name set up. This is gonna work out great, but what I also need to do, because I'm gonna run this through a plotter, I wanna set up some weed borders around here. It's just basically a box that goes around my text uh, to make it easy to organize my, my names and be able to weed away the portions of the vinyl that I really don't need. All right, so I need to select my object, go into the Appearance panel. In the Appearance panel, it shows Type, Characters, Opacity. All right, I'd like to add a stroke. Down over here at the bottom left, click on Stroke, and now it's gonna add a stroke over here at the top of the stack. All right, I'm gonna grab the stroke, click and drag, and drop it off at the bottom of Characters. All right, now this stroke is gonna mimic these letters that I have set up here, but I need this stroke to just be a rectangle. All right, so this is important. You wanna target your stroke. You can tell it's targeted because we have this highlight right here. All right, at the bottom of the panel, you have this effects button. Click on it, and it's gonna give you a list of all the effects. Over at the top, you're gonna to see convert to shape and a couple different shapes you could choose from. All right, I'm gonna go with rectangle. And when I click on that, it's gonna give us the shape options. Starting at the top, shape, we have this drop down menu. We're gonna go with rectangle, but you also have the option to go with rounded rectangle and ellipse. All right, we'll leave it at rectangle. And now we have options. All right, by default, this is set to relative. And over here, it shows that we have an extra width of 18 points and an extra height of 18 points. All right, so in here, we can make some adjustments. So I'm gonna increase the width a little bit. And uh, let's increase the height over here using this increment button. All right, something like that looks pretty good. I'll click OK, and now over here in the Appearance panel, if I twirl this guy down, you'll see we've added this as a live effect. So you'll see in a little bit how this is going to come in handy. All right, back to my artwork. Over here, as a production manager, I'm looking at this and thinking, you know what, there's too much space uh, going around my text here. All right, so this is actually going to be like a waste of vinyl if I have this uh, weed border over here that large. So back over here in the Appearance panel, because we applied this as a live effect, I'm gonna be able to click on rectangle and make a quick adjustment. All right, so we don't need all that width in there, so I'm gonna back off on this, and let's go with the height in here. All right, just tuck this guy in a little bit, something like that looks pretty good. I'll click OK, and that's working out fantastic. Now, where this is gonna really speed up my workflow is I'm gonna make some copies of this. I'm gonna copy right here. Double click on this. Now I'm gonna look at the list that my customer has and they're letting me know the names uh, that need to go on all these uniforms, all right? So we'll go with uh, Bleak, all right? Make a copy of this, double click on this. This one might be Smith, all right? Accept that change. Option, click and drag, all right? This one might be Anderson, all right? There we go, I got this guy laid out. Now, I'm noticing that, you know what, it might be a little bit tight on the width, so I'm gonna select my artwork, go back into the appearance panel, click on rectangle. All right, here's the width. Let's just bump this guy up a little bit right there. I don't wanna make it too hard on the people that are actually gonna be weeding this out. I'll click OK, and when I deselect, there you go. These guys are set up and ready to go. Now, I wanted to show you the flexibility of working with the live effect, and I also wanted to show you guys a practical use uh, for that convert to rectangle. All right, so let's finish off the workflow portion of this before I go back into the rectangle effect. All right, so over here in the layers panel, what I would probably do next is double click on this guy and name this uh, font or fonts, right? Accept that change. Now I'm gonna lock this guy down 
and hide it. All right, I'm going to make a copy of it. Now, this new one, I could unlock it and bring this guy back to life. There we go. I want to change the name to Outline Expanded. All right, because now we have to select our artwork, go into the Object menu, find Expand Appearance. When you click on that, it's going to get rid of that live effect for us. Now, the reason that's important is that now when I go into outline mode, you could actually see this uh, uh, this rectangle around it. All right, so I'm going to hit Command Y. Let's hide this one. Go back into the original one. If I hit Command Y, those boxes are gone. So we really need the plotter to be able to see these. All right, let's go back into our outline expanded one. All right, now I want to select my artwork. Notice we still have live text. Now for newer plotters, uh, they're going to be able to read this just fine. Uh, but if you have an older plotter, you might need to outline your text. So a quick way to do that is Command Shift O or Control Shift O on a PC. And now you notice we have nothing but anchor points and paths. This is great for plotters. It's just basically going to send the blade along that path to cut everything out. And now that we have these weed boxes around here, we're going to keep everything nice and organized and we're not going to waste as much material. All right, so back into regular mode. Now I'm going to get rid of this layer and create a new one. What I want to do next is uh, show you guys the other feature for convert to shape rectangle. All right, so I'm going to hit the T key on my keyboard. Let's do some more text in here. I'm going to go with Lockwood again. Accept that change, make this text nice and big. There we go. All right, cool. Back in the appearance panel, we're going to add a stroke. All right, let's bring the stroke to the bottom of the stack just below characters. I'm going to target my stroke. Next, I'm going to hit Effects, Convert to Shape, Rectangle. All right, now let's look at Options. This time, I want to take a look at Absolute. All right, there's going to be plenty of workflows where this is really important. Let's say you need that rectangle to be an exact size, all right? If you take a look over here, we don't really see that rectangle because it's so small. Well, let's increase the size of this guy. All right, so I got a width value right now in the 300s, but it looks like I might need to go somewhere up to maybe like 700. So let me just type in that value, tab over. All right, that looks pretty good. And now for the height value, uh, I'm going to enter in 150 to see what I get. All right, this looks pretty good. When I click OK, if I come back in here and change the name, let's go with Bleak. All right, notice that box is going to be way larger than needed. But if you're making labels or something like that and the box has to be a specific size, that's going to be really useful right there. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Convert to Shape Rectangle in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.